Chin dobre, everyone. What is going on? My name is Atticus Schaefer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Atticus Schaefer Vlog. Today, I have for you another uh, answering of a question video. Um, if you caught the first installment of uh, this series of videos here on my channel, uh, you will know that there are certain questions that I feel deserve to be um, discussed in more in-depth and um, today's video is going to be one of those questions in particular. I hope you will excuse the current state of my hair. Uh, this is actually the longest I've ever had my hair in my life. I'm growing up my hair. I was just so sick and tired of the uh, short haircut that I, I needed to have a change. And so I have spent the summer growing out my hair. Um, there might be some adjustments done to it to make it nicer and, and uh, manageable, but um, it's really cool to be able to do something different, express myself in a different way, and uh, here I go sounding like an artist. But, uh, but no, it is what it is. It's something fun. Uh, for those of you who are involved in the Twitch community, you guys have been able to see the ongoing lengthening of my hair, and uh, you've been very positive and encouraging and supporting of how it looks, so we'll see what it ends up becoming. Uh, it's kind of an adventure. Life is an adventure, so here we go. But anyway, uh, today's question is actually brought by the username AM. I don't know if it's supposed to be AM or AM, so I'm going to reference you as AM. Uh, but if it isn't, obviously correct me in the comment section below. But uh, this is actually the highest rated uh, question that was asked when I made the community post back at the end of August. Um, to begin these sorts of, of uh, videos. And um, I'm going to just go right into it. So here we go. So AM writes, If it isn't too personal, I would love to know more about your disease, or as it's more accurately known, a condition, and how to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, and how you socialize. I myself have lupus, which is a form of rheumatoid arthritis, and it is not only painful, but very damaging to my self-confidence, and makes it difficult to interact with people sometimes. I would love to hear how you are so confident and comfortable with yourself, despite the cards life has dealt you. You are really inspiring. Much love. AM, I want to thank you again. I know that I, uh, I, I have reached out to you a couple different times, but... AM, I greatly appreciate this question. Um, this is a very, a very deep question, and um, it's, it's deserving of an in-depth answer. So hence why I wanted to isolate this question and be able to make a video on it specifically and solely on this question. I think it can be um, very beneficial, and exactly as I said in the first installment of these videos, if there's anything that I've been able to go through in my life that can then in turn uh, be shared, and and um, you, the viewer, whoever you may be who's watching this now, maybe you get some sort of inspiration or understanding or encouragement from what I have to say and where I've been in my life, uh, then that's a blessing for me. So I hope that that can be achieved now through this video. So the condition in question is the fact that I was born with a genetic bone condition called osteogenesis imperfecta. Um, it's, to go into the details of what exactly that condition is and what I've had to go through in my life would be far too long to uh, discuss or talk on or speak on here in this video in particular. However, um, I do encourage you to please check out my new friend, Kira, her podcast, which is called the DNA Today Podcast. Um, if, if, if I can, I will post the link for that down in the description box below. Um, if I can't, just look it up. It's called the DNA Today Podcast. Uh, she's been doing it for a very long time, actually. She's an excellent uh, host for this show. And um, earlier this year, I was able to sit down with her and do an episode of her podcast with her where I get to speak more in depth as to my condition, the specifics of it, the complexity of the condition, and as well as how I live my life. So please be sure to check out my friend Kira. If you go back in the in the log of episodes, um, wherever she has the, the podcast uploaded, um, whatever site I mean, go back to June of 2022, this year, June. Um, I believe that's when she uploaded the episode that I was able to do with her. And again, it was an incredibly fun time. 
Um, also, uh, I made an Instagram post on it, on my Instagram page, which I only have one, by the way, at a Schaefer vlog, spelled the same as it is here on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, anyway, there's multiple ways that you'll be able to go check that out and learn more about my condition. Again, far too complex to get into on this particular video, and it's YouTube. Wink! But, for this video in particular, I want to speak directly on the confidence part of your question, AM, because I think it's important. Um, we live in a day and age where, because of the anonymity of the internet, coupled with the fact that I personally believe we are living in a day and age where the love of others has grown cold, if you catch my drift, there is no common natural morality anymore. Um, C.S. Lewis, I, I believe that's the term that he used, correct me if I'm wrong, in Mere Christianity. He was talking about how there's like an inherent morality that we as humans come to understand without even needing to be taught. That might have been true in his day and age. Uh, that's, that, that, that ship sailed long ago, uh, prior to my generation. Or maybe in my generation. In the upcoming generation, it's non-existent. Um, and I don't say that to be argumentative. Uh, I, I, I think we're at a point now where, objectively, we can see that people disguised with their keyboard and their screen say things now that would be unheard of in our parents' and grandparents' generation. Um, because of that, there are many opportunities to have one's self-confidence and self-esteem be literally attacked by other people. And that's very un unfortunate and disappointing. I won't get into that detail too much, because it's YouTube. But, I will say, I have had to develop my confidence and my self-esteem in time. And I am blessed because I, I had to come to the understanding and the realization that I am not who anybody on this earth says that I am. No troll, no, you know, keyboard assassin, no, no one. I am not who anybody says, but who he says I am. I am who he says I am, and my worth comes from him alone. That is the root of any person's confidence, in my opinion. When you understand that as damaging as words can be, which they are, that they don't carry weight compared to his word, that's when you can really start to grow in the knowing and the assurance of who you are. Even if you need to learn and continue to better yourself and grow as a person, that root and foundation of confidence is in him. And that has been a big lesson for me in my life. Coupled with that, I have been very blessed to have a mom who she has taught me from the very beginning of my life. Do you have this condition? Yes. Do you need to live your life differently because of this condition? Yes. But, through critical thinking, logic, and problem solving, you are able to avoid whatever situations may cause you harm and thrive in living life in the way that you can. And being able to be yourself and not have to be under the feeling of belittlement that comes from comparing yourself to other people. And I'm incredibly grateful for my mom for that. I definitely had a journey, uh, especially in my teenage years, where I had to learn 
and figure out, you know, here's what I can do and here's what I can't. Now, as an adult, I'm able to say with confidence that I do know who I am. And I do know, here's this little area that I have limitations in. But here's this big area that I can thrive in by me being myself and not having to be handcuffed to the feeling that I need to be like how other people are and that is what my worth is rooted in. It's not. So to answer your question, AM, that is where I get my confidence from. And it is something that I've had to develop and I continue to develop and I continue to need to grow in because in life, we are constantly learning and constantly growing, and that's just how it needs to be. Um, people who are, and again, many of you who are watching this, if you're like AM or myself who have physical challenges that do hinder you from doing some things, my encouragement to you today is that while you may have to do th certain things differently, and there may be certain things that you just cannot do at all, don't focus on those things. Focus on what you can do. And then thrive in what you can do. Even look at me. I have limitations. Um, I know from the very beginning, Mom was concerned about what I would end up doing with my life. To provide for myself. To work. To uh, be educated. To be healthy. To be well. And she equipped me with the skills from the very beginning of my life to understand that if I can use this and use this, it doesn't matter what limitations I have in my physical body. And from that, I was able to be on a TV show for 10 years, along with all the other movies and animation projects and commercials that I've done. And that is not an oh la -di da to me, <laughs> by any means. That is me being grateful to him for speaking to my mom and telling her what to tell to me, to teach me, to have that better mindset, to equip me for living my life. And that's stuff that I can take with me. Skills, a healthy mindset that I can take with me moving forward. Not everyone in the world is ever going to like you, right? Is you, you can't appease everybody. You can't make everybody like you. We all have different mindsets and philosophies, faith, and all those different factors that make us unique. But I know who I am. And I'm very blessed to have now in my life an amazing group of friends who are like family that appreciate me for me and encourage me and support me as me. And I am so grateful that I can be me. Even with my own flaws, my own mistakes, and the myriad and many lessons I've had to learn in my life, and the myriad of lessons that I know I'm going to continue to be learning in my life. I'm grateful to know who I am. Who I am in Him. But most importantly, who He is. I hope this video can be a blessing for you today. AM, I want to thank you once again for your awesome question. I greatly appreciate it. My dear friends, as my mom told to me, I now tell to you, always be yourself. You don't need to compare yourself to others. Your life and where you stand and who you are is between you and him. Thank you very much, everyone. Please be sure to check all the links in the description box below and uh, do whatever it is that I type to do in relation to those links. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it on all your social media, especially if you found this helpful or inspiring in any way. 
and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video and or next live stream. I will see you soon. Dovid Senya.